All right, so we're going to go over the uh, capabilities of the step automation, numerical and 2D graphic touch control. Here we have uh, the main screen where you have the configuration which shows you if you can put it in inches or in uh, metric. Uh, if you work in US tons, metric tons, all the machine configuration. Then here we have the programming block. Here you have your library with all the programs. So you can see if it is numerical or uh, 2D graphic. They call it 3D profile as a 2D program actually. So if we go back to main menu, then we have tool up. That's where you program your tools over the length. Editor is where you can make a program itself, a drawing, you know. Here you go, right. Then we have simulation after you make your part and the editor. You go to simulation and it gives you a bending solution or it tells you where you went wrong. Production, after you make your program, you run the production. You can run automatic, you can run in step mode and you can run in easy band. So now we're going to go how to make a program. If we start making a program, so we can say new, we give it a name. Right. So here we can choose 3D profile, which is a 2D part. Uh, okay. And here we're gonna give us uh, give it our basic information. The part we're gonna make is 72 inches width. Our thickness will be 16 gauge. Here we can choose if we what material we're gonna bend: steel, stainless, aluminum. Auto correction. Yes, means we're working with outside dimensions. Automatically it fills in the resistance or the tensile strength of the material and your mute point. These are normally things we don't touch except if you know you have very hard steel, you can already increase the tensile strength. So we went to our main program. Now we're going to go to tool up. So what tools we're going to use? So if you look, here we have our tools, our dice. So let's say we're going to use the gooseneck. Dice, small V opening, half inch, that's the tooling we're going to use. Now we go to editor, now we're going to make a part. Whatever, so now after we made this, we can edit our part. So if we go back to the first length, we say okay, we want this to be 7.5 inches. This we want to be 5. This angle we want to be minus 135, we want the length to be 4.5, this one we want to be 3.5, angle 90, oh we made a mistake, it should be minus 90, right? Or we should go 135. Then our last band is, let's say, 3 inches. And we should be at 90. That's our part. Here you can go smaller, bigger. Enter. Now we're going to simulation. With the tooling we choose. With the part we made, now it's going to give us a solution. Let's go to the first band. Previous, previous. So here we see the first band. We are happy with that. Second band, happy with that. Third band. Done. If everything looks okay, we say generate program. Done. We go to production automatic now we cannot run the program because we didn't reset or like um, run the machine for referencing but here you can see all the bands so here we can also see um, the view we can look at on two pieces so now we can go also to step mode here we see all the information of that program right so you can also do, for example, if you say programming, you say new, we give it another name, test 5, right, okay. 
So here we can automatically we fill in 96 inches, same material. And now instead of making a drawing, we're gonna go to step. So bending method, like here that's the nice thing about it, if you don't go to graphic you can say I do angle programming, but you can also do Y value. Why is this important? If you want to do like hemming or flattening material, you can just say to the beam where to stop in the Y axis. So when it is completely clamped, or if you have a homemade die and there is a radius tool and you don't know how to program it, you can just program a position to stop. Right? So uh, you can fill in a backstop value, let's say 15.75. Right, angle, we don't gonna work with angle, we're gonna work with uh, Y, we say okay stop at 6, uh, you see all these other things you can fill in but are really not important except for retraction, holding time, that's where how long you keep it at the bottom of the, the band, for example for stainless you're gonna keep it longer to take out the stress of the material, uh, you can add bands, uh, and just run it as a numerical machine too. So if we look back to programs and let's see if we can go to one. We go to automatic uh, view. Here we have the tool library. So you can store quite a bit of tools here. You can see all the different tools we have for this machine. Uh, that's the punches, the dice. So it's easy to see, that's a hemming tool, it's easy to see which one you should use. What else do we have? And that is actually pretty much uh, the basic of the machine. Like to go back to uh, measure units, so here we can choose inches, right, we can choose PSI instead of uh, uh, kilogram per square millimeter. And this is pretty much it, we're back to the beginning. This is a quick overview on how the controller works. Very easy, uh, user-friendly, and hey, I cannot wait to show it to you when you have it on the machine.